Welcome to SoCal Training Team. Thank you for joining us again for another training session. I call them training sessions because we are teaching you something that you may not have known or that you need more information to. So please make sure you took the time to open and watch this video that you go ahead and give us a thumbs up. You like, subscribe, share with your friends and family, especially if they want to get in the residential care facility business or they're already in the business and they need recertification or continuing education hours, or they have staff that need training. That's what we specialize in. We specialize in operating, setting up, managing residential facilities here in the state of California. It is our area of specialty. It's what we do, and we do it very well. We've been in the business for over 23 years, opening and operating and running residential facilities throughout Southern California, Northern California. California in general. So do me a favor. Like I said, like, subscribe. So what I'm here right now to talk about is how to become a STRTP, also known as short-term residential therapeutic program, how to become an administrator here in California. So there are certain requirements that you have to meet now. Well, let's, there are aren't really certain requirements that you have to meet to become an administrator. Anyone be can become an administrator as long as you're 21. But the question is, do you actually qualify to be an administrator? In order to find out if you qualify, you can go to one of my videos. We'll probably go ahead and link it here in this video. The qualifications that you need in order to be an administrator. But for the purpose of this video, I want to tell you how to become an administrator and what path you need to take. So the first step that you need to take in order to become a short-term residential therapeutic administrator, you need to find a 40-hour class. It's called initial certification. We offer that initial certification class here at SoCal Training Team. If you go to our website, top taskbar, you click on initial certification, the drop down, it goes to STRTP initial, and you can find a schedule of classes there. We offer the classes and they are currently via Zoom video, meaning you don't have to leave the comfort of your own home to come see us. You can sit wherever you're at in the world. You can take our class and you can become a certified administrator or you can take steps towards to becoming a certified administrator. Now that class is 40 hours. It is five days. It runs Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And it is on Zoom video. Part of what we do in our classes is that we give you a binder. That binder has five days of training plus a copy of the regulations as well. What does this class do for you guys? This class, number one, teaches you, it gives you a synopsis of the business. It gives you an overview of what it is to be an administrator. It doesn't give you the hands-on portion, which is very important as well, but this gives you the back-end knowledge of what you need to be a, a an effective administrator. It gives you the business piece as well. And it also prepares you to take the state exam, which you have to take after, you're, after you've completed the class. Like I said, it's a 40 hour class. It runs Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5. Each day in, in the classes that we teach, you take a practice exam. This practice exam is not the actual exam that you need in order to be certified. But these practice questions that we have put together will prepare you and give you an idea of what to expect when you take the exam through community care licensing after you successfully complete our 40 hour class. So during this class, well, not during this class, let me, I'll skip that, that part. So after you complete the 40 hours of initial certification, you will schedule with community care licensing on uh, a couple of dates. You'll select two or three different dates. You do this via email to community care licensing uh, with a copy of the certificate that you completed the 40 hour class. Now, if you don't take the class with us, that's fine. I would love you to take the class with us. It won't hurt my feelings if you don't. But if you take the class with us, we walk you through the process of how to register for your exam as well. And then we want to ensure that you're successful. So we give you plenty of test questions, practice test questions that will better prepare you to be successful at taking your exam. And then 
We also give you the business piece where you learn a lot about the business, how to properly operate and run your facility, and a lot of different nuances of the business that you'll need to, in order to be successful. After you take the class, you take the test, you successfully pass the test, then we assist you through uh, the process, or if you have questions, we'll help you answer some of the questions that you have as far as what do you need to do next in order to get your administrative certificate. So we'll help you through that process as well. After you successfully submit all your paperwork, licensing is typically running a little bit behind. So it'll take some time for you to get your certification via email. Once you get your certification via email, you are officially an administrator. Now, like I said a little earlier, you want to ensure that you actually qualify to be an administrator. And there are certain requirements that you have to meet in order to do so. I suggest before you even consider taking the class is that you watch my video on the experience and what it takes to qualify for an administrator. That way you don't have to worry about being upset later if you don't qualify to be an administrator because you would have watched the other video and you understand what the steps are to be an administrator. Keep in mind that you have to be 21 years of age in order to be an administrator. So if you are not 21, you can take the class, but you can't officially become an administrator until you're 21. So you want to keep that in mind because I know sometimes people overlook that where well, you'll have a 20 year old or a 19 year old take the course and they can't actually become an administrator until they're 21. So you definitely want to keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and recap. So. You guys understand, or if I missed anything, I want to just recap for you guys. So in order for you to become an administrator, you need to take a 40-hour initial certification, which is short-term residential therapeutic program. That class runs Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5. It is on Zoom video, meaning if you guys aren't familiar with Zoom, you sit at your laptop or your computer or your desktop with your camera on, nine to five lunch breaks, lunch break and breaks in between. And you sit with us and we go through and teach you guys each day different concepts that are related to short term residential therapeutic programs. Basically, we're teaching you what it takes in order to be a successful administrator in the business. So if you want to open up your own residential facility, it's important that you have this. If you work for someone and you want to become an administrator because you want to generate more income, this class is for you as well. This class is for anyone that wants to work towards becoming an, a successful administrator, business owner, and all in between. So this class is important for you guys. And like I said, you guys can register for this class on our website, SoCalTrainingTeam.com, top taskbar, initial certification. STRTP, and we have a list of classes. We hold, hold the class every single month on Zoom. If you have any questions, you can reach out to us at SoCalTrainingTeam.com. Our phone number is there, and I almost forgot what I was talking about for a second there. But make sure you like, subscribe, and share, and I will see you guys on the next video.